You know they say every person is unique in his or her own way. Well, the same can be said at how people deal with different challenges they face on a daily basis. So today in this video, I'll be addressing some of the challenges which people, particularly our youth, face on a daily basis and how we can go about helping them deal with these challenges. Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel and to those who are new, a very warm welcome. My name is Amma and in this channel I engage on conversations for unity and change, particularly on issues that affect us on a daily basis. If you'd like to join me, please consider subscribing to this channel and turn your post notifications to all so that we can shake things up together, all for unity and change. And I'll highly appreciate it if you can voice out your opinions on the topic of the day. You can easily do so by leaving a comment below. And if you think my videos are contributing to creating a better society for all, please remember to give them a thumbs up. Talking about topic of the day, I am very excited for today's topic because it was chosen by one of my peeps. But before I jump into the topic of the day, I would like to send all my love to all our women out there. Today is the 1st of August and I'm sure we all know that August holds a very important and special day for women. So here is to the SA Women in Action and from next week I'll be showcasing some of the amazing work which some of these women do. Today's topic is part 2 on how we can help each other during trying times. I'll link part 1 below and I'll also put it here. So for today, I'm going to focus on this request. So there's this quote, it's, it goes, Youth is wasted on the youth. Like kids who are actually like truly like suffering from like mental illnesses and stuff like that. They'll be like, oh mom, I think I need to see somebody who I, I don't know. I've just been feeling really depressed lately. And a lot of like parents would be like, why do you feel depressed? There's nothing for you to feel depressed about. You're at home you get to see your friends you have technology and, and everything you should be the happiest child in the world which is kind of like a mentality that a lot of older generations have towards us younger generations like they don't take our struggles seriously they don't take us seriously in general and like they kind of feel like we're just dooming the planet and whatnot so i was kind of hoping you would touch on something like that in my opinion the quote, youth is wasted on the young, simply means that the youngsters are not taking advantage of their youthfulness and are simply just wasting it. Well, in as much as this can be true in a particular context, I think it is important that we consider different types of context as well as the type of support we are giving our youth. The truth is, the challenges which our youth are facing these nowadays are totally different from the challenges which our grandparents and parents faced. I'm gonna try and give a practical example. So let's say your high school child is showing signs of depression and has a very low self-esteem. And then you say a coach like, oh gosh, youth is so wasted on the young to her. And then you end up telling her that how you grew up as an active child and how you had so much confidence. Oh, I tell you, you will actually be the main reason why your child will end up committing suicide. It's very important to acknowledge the type of environment which our youth are growing up in. It's a whole lot of a different uh, atmosphere. And so the challenges that they are facing are probably not even the challenges that you faced when growing up as a parent or, or, or as a grandparent. How about giving her a helping hand and try and find out why she's feeling and acting this way and you may be surprised to find out that you are also one of the reasons why she's feeling or acting this way i'll give you an example say your child has been attending her entire schooling years in a very modernized context where she's exposed to learners that use all sorts of technology to enhance their learning that they even have extra help at home to help them with their schoolwork and therefore they're very competitive in class in, in the classroom. And then 
your child doesn't have the very same resources at home but then you continue putting pressure on your child to a point where you will say well when you were young you used to get first place in class and how come she's not getting first place or she's not being first in class but why don't you consider the fact that your child does not have the same resources that they have and therefore she will not be able to compete with them so i think as a parent sometimes we need to try and understand what's causing our children behave in this way or what's causing our children to feel this way because somewhere somehow we may be the cause to them feeling that way so i beg you all to please take it easy on our youth and we should just try and give them the necessary support and tools that they need so that they can be the active citizens we wish them to be. Now this brings me to the question of the day. What do you think we should do to ensure that we have less traveled and more active youngsters in our society? Please let me and the rest of the peeps know by leaving a comment below. If you feel this video contributes to creating unity and change in our society, please give it a thumbs up and I'll highly appreciate it if you can please subscribe over here so that you can join me in creating a better society for all. But before I leave you, I'd like to address an issue which came as a comment on my first video. I'll leave a link to my first video below. So Lucky, who is one of my peeps, appears to be very disturbed by the fact that his socks magically disappears in his washing machine. And so he has asked me to address this issue. So if your washing machine is a front loader, there may be holes on your rubber gasket. And if you have a top loader, then when your machine is spinning, then the socks may sit between the tub and the metal walls. So my tip will be to safety pin your socks on bigger clothes so that this doesn't happen. I hope this addresses your issue, Lucky. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here. Till Amma and Peace meet again next week Saturday, where we'll celebrate our women in action. Bye.